Hey, what's going on guys? Adam here with AmericanMuscle.com. Today, I'm bringing you a detailed overview of this harness mount bar fitting all 2015 and newer Mustangs. So this harness mount bar is going to be for all 2015 and newer Mustang owners out there looking to get a support bar to properly attach a harness to without going full throttle on a full row cage. Now this harness mount bar I have here is going to be very beneficial for the guys out there who have a harness or may want to purchase one in the near future and need a support bar to properly attach it to. Now picking this up, you'll attach this to the seatbelt mounts on the back seats and for the driver's seats, making it a very comfortable positioning for any four point, five point, or six point style harness. Now I do want to point two things out before we go any further with the harness mount bar. Thing number one is that you're actually going to lose complete functionality of your rear seats. So if you are looking to get some passengers back there, this is not the option for you. You might want to check out some of the other ones out there on the market. Now the second thing I want to point out is that the attachment pieces that are going onto your driver side and passenger side floor mounted seat belts, you are going to have to trim the cover on those to make these work. The trimming is very minimal, but if you're not looking to do that, this option also will not be for you. Now, if you are interested in this particular option and it doesn't scare you away to lose your rear seats, then this particular material is a 304 stainless steel tubing all around, so you know you are getting a roll cage type of support. But I do want to point out, it's not a full roll cage. Don't expect the same amount of protection, but you will get a small amount of reinforcement when installing this bar. Now, with that said, this bar is made of a hammer tone finished material, so you can expect a very aggressive look for your car, and it will add 16 pounds of weight to your vehicle, but you can actually just counteract that with a rear seat delete considering you are losing using all functionality of it anyway. Now one of the benefits of adding a harness mount bar as opposed to a harness guide or some of the other options out there is that it can actually be a lot safer and protect your driver and passenger a little bit more. This will utilize a proper attachment for your harness for an over the shoulder attachment to protect your spine and shoulders from any accident that may occur and will actually protect you from excess shifting or fatigue during high G loads during cornering or braking. Overall, this will properly attach, like I said, a four point, five point or six point harness for your driver and passenger for a safe drive. So this particular option will cost you about $600 for the harness mount bar. It is a bit pricey, but you do want to take into consideration you've got very good quality materials offering a lot of protection. You're getting a lot of bang for your buck with this one. You are getting a very aggressive muscle car appearance with the actual harness mount bar and the hammer tone finish. Now the installation for this part, as I mentioned before, isn't gonna to be too bad. It will require some cutting, which I'll touch on in a little bit when I walk you through the install, but you will require to have a couple of tools on hand, including a ratchet and a socket set, even some Torx bits. And because of the cutting, you wanna have a Dremel or some kind of cutting tool, whatever you're most comfortable using. Now first things first, to kick this off, you wanna make sure you're pushing the driver and passenger front seats angled forward and all the way up to the dashboard to give you maximum amount of room. Second thing you wanna do is remove the bottom seat cushions on your rear seats to gain access to the seat belt mount positions underneath those cushions. So once you get those seat cushions out, you'll notice the bolt holding on your seat belt mounting positions. You want to unbolt that, place the bracket underneath and then your seat belt on top of that and place the bolt through the pre-drilled holes, tightening that down and repeat this process for the opposite side of the vehicle. Once you do that, you want to make sure your brackets are pointing up towards your quarter windows and if they are, you can put the seat cushions back together. And once you get those brackets in place pointing up toward your quarter windows and you get your seat cushions back in place, you'll be installing the main portion of your harness mount bar to those brackets using the bolts included in the kit. Tighten them down by hand at first and then use your ratchet to finish off the job and repeat the process for the opposite side. So from here, you'll be trimming the covers on the factory front seatbelt brackets mounting positions on the floor. And once you get your trimming down, you'll be installing the down tubes provided in the kit. So you'll remove the factory bolt on the seatbelt pre-tensioner on the floor and replacing it with the bolts provided in the kit to tighten down the down tubes on the actual floorboards. Now once you get the down tubes in place on the bottom, you'll be attaching them to the harness mount bar on the top and tightening them down also using the bolts provided in the kit. Once that's done, you're all finished the installation and you're good to go. Now overall, you're looking at spending about an hour or so on the installation, making it something anybody can do, but since there is some drilling involved, if you're not comfortable with drilling, it can be a little bit more difficult for you. I will be giving this a two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter just considering the drilling all other parts of the install are very simple but you want to make sure you're comfortable with those cutting tools if not there's no shame in handing this one over to a professional well that just about wraps this one up guys if you're the owner of a 2015 or newer mustang and you're looking for a way to properly handle and support your harness setup you might want to check out this harness mount bar which is of course available right here at americanmuscle.com